You have prepared for the power failure by installing a generator. You prepare for the storm by going to the grocery store, picking up your necessary supplies. You go to the gas station and you gas up your car. But nobody has thought about getting some extra lubricating oil for their generator or having spare parts on hand for that repair that may be needed to keep your generator running for a prolonged power failure. Very few people even read their owner's manual. Any piece of mechanical equipment can fail. As the owner of that piece of mechanical equipment, you should be familiar with the basic operations of the generator that you have had installed. Due to dangerous weather conditions and impassable roads, your maintenance contractor may not be able to get to your site in order to repair your generator during a storm. Therefore, as the owner of that generator, you should be able to do the basic resetting of the controller and trying to get the engine restarted. Counting on your servicing contractor during the height of a storm is not a sound practice. We have also experienced some generator failures during this storm. Most of them were from one particular manufacturer. However, this manufacturer is not the manufacturer that we sell. So buying the least expensive generator that you can find to back up your power may not be necessarily the least expensive in the long run. Buying quality equipment from a quality contractor is always the most economical in the long run.